Dear fellow activists, as the founding chairman of Kabadang Makabayan, I'm happy that you are celebrating your 22nd anniversary on this day. This is a day of great significance. It was the day when Kabatang Makabayan was founded in 1964, and when the great leader of the Philippine Revolution of 1896 and the Katipunan, Andres Bonifacio, was born. I wish ardently that you sum up your experience in arousing, organizing, and mobilizing the Filipino youth since 1998. Learn well your positive and negative lessons, enhance your strength and overcome weaknesses, face the challenges and set forth the task for winning ever greater victories along the line of the new democratic revolution against the semi-colonial and semi-feudal ruling system in the era of modern imperialism and the proletarian socialist revolution. What is evil, anti-national and anti-democratic is now concentrated in the Duterte regime which is tyrannical, traitorous, murderous, extremely corrupt, and deceptive. Since the fall of, of the Marcos fascist dictatorship in 1986, the current regime has been the most servile to imperialist powers, especially the US and China, and the most brutal and most greedy chief representative of the local exploiting classes of big compradors, landlords, and bureaucrat capitalists. It knows no bounds for cutting into contracts involving government appropriations and franchises, especially in programs and projects involving imports and exports, public utilities, infrastructure, and local and foreign purchases of supplies and equipment for the bureaucracy and the armed services. The Duterte family has become the supreme crime lord by taking over the smuggling and distribution of illegal drugs and other contraband and by killing tens of thousands of people to grab crime territory from competitors. After killing the GRP and the FP peace negotiations since 2017, the Duterte regime has brought the worst aspect of its evil character by accelerating its drive for fascist dictatorship Aside from stealing hundreds of billions of pesos from the national treasury, the regime has taken advantage of the COVID-19 pandemic by enacting the anti-terror law in order to carry out state terrorism in the name of anti-communism and anti-terrorism. Even before the formal declaration of nationwide martial law, the regime has acquired the means to impose fascist dictatorship on the Filipino people and suppress the patriotic and democratic forces. Oplan Tokhang methods are now being unleashed against the people as in the bogus war on drugs. People are arbitrarily tagged, listed and vilified as communist terrorists for the purpose of arrest, indefinite detention without judicial warrant, extortion and torture, and extrajudicial killings with utter impunity. It is the urgent duty of the Filipino youth and people to fight and oust the monstrous Duterte regime, which is ruining the Filipino nation in an all-round way, economically, politically, and culturally. It is trying to keep the monster in power even beyond 2022, despite the fact that he is physically, mentally, and morally sick. His alternative is to use the military and his control of the Comelec vote count in order to install a presidential uh, proxy. Dianak Bayan has the experience of overthrowing the Strider regime, which was extremely corrupt and brutish in ruling the country. You should be inspired by your own success in making a major contribution to the ouster of Estrada from 1998 to January 2001. I am confident that you can muster the political will and carry out the mass actions for getting rid of the Duterte regime, which is far more monstrous than the Estrada regime. I urge you to link yourselves to the broad masses of the people and the broad united front in the rapidly growing movement for the ouster of Duterte. You must contribute your resolute will, your irrepressible efforts, your militancy and mass strength to the multi-class and multi-sectoral movement for ousting the Duterte regime. 
the rapidly worsening crisis of the Philippine ruling system and the world capitalist system is bound to generate mass uprisings in the forthcoming weeks, months and years in the Philippines and the world. Take advantage of the crisis conditions and follow the desire of the people for revolutionary change. Fight and oust the Duterte regime in order to advance the just cause of full national independence, democracy, social justice, economic development through genuine land reform and national industrialization, provision of social services, the progress of patriotic, scientific and pro-people culture and just peace. Long live Vanagbayan and the Filipino youth. Fight state terrorism and oust the Duterte tyranny. Be inspired by the Philippine Revolution of 1896. Advance the new democratic revolution. Long live the Filipino people.